How's it going, SBC family, friends, guests? For those who may just found us online, I'm your brother, Robert Taylor here for your daily devotional. So we're going to start going through the book of Daniel. I feel like this is a wonderful book that really talks about how to live in a world that is opposed to your faith. So for the next couple of daily devotions, I'm going to be talking about the book of Daniel. So today we're going to be coming from Daniel chapter 1, verse 8. And the topic we're going to be coming from is, there's another standing up. There's another standing up. So Daniel chapter 1, verse 8 from the NIV reads like this. But Daniel resolved not to defile himself with the royal food and wine. And he asked the chief official for permission not to defile himself this way. Daniel and his three friends were exiles from Judah in Babylon. But as a result of their nobility, their appearance, and their wisdom, the king elected them to be part of his royal training program to lead and to stand in his court. And as a result of that, they were taught by the smartest people in Babylon, and they were given a diet of the king's delicacies. That's a wonderful position for them to be in. They almost had the red carpet rolled out for them of Babylon. But there was a problem. Those delicacies violated their conviction as Jews. And so they were stuck with with an issue. They either ate the food and they sinned against God, or they didn't eat the food, upset the king, and were potentially killed. That's a tough spot to be in. Have you ever been in a spot or a problem where you've been in a position where the, the cultural norms have violated your beliefs? and you had to make a hard choice, that is exactly the position that Daniel and his friends were in. But Daniel says in verse 8 that he had resolved not to defile himself with the king's delicacies. He decided to stand with God and not stand with the king. He decided to stand with the king of kings instead of just the king of Babylon. And so let, let's let's find out what happened in the story. I'm sure you guys all know. He uh, went to the chief eunuch and, the, and asked him, he just eat a diet of vegetables and water for the next 10 days. And, and after 10 days, he would check them out and see how they fared. And after 10 days, they were stronger and bigger than the ones who ate the king's delicacies. So not only did Daniel stand, Daniel and his friends stand for God, but he stood with them. But he's still with them beyond just that. It says later in the text that God gave them learning and skill in, in all literature and wisdom. And when they were presented before the king, it says they were 10 times smarter than any of the wise men that the king had already put in position. Daniel stood and God stood right next to him. So the question I'm going to pose for you all today is, where is the Lord calling you to stand for him today? Where's the Lord calling you to stand for him today? Is it at work or maybe at home or maybe even on your campus or at school or or possibly just with your circle of friends? I challenge you, I encourage you that just as God stood with Daniel, he will stand for you when you stand for him. With that, let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for the example of Daniel and his three friends who stood up for you and decided to stand with you as opposed to standing with the king. And they were rewarded by being better than all the others in Babylon. And Lord, you will reward us as we stand and we take steps of faith towards you. Help us and reveal those steps that we need to take and give us the strength to walk in confidence in them with you right by our side. We thank you, Lord. We praise you and we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. So thank you for for joining with me. Come back as we continue to walk through the book of Daniel.